Hello from Eastern CCTV. In this video, we are going to go over the IP camera OSD config menu. For part one, we will be going over the system config, video config, PTZ config, and alarm config. In our basic information section, we can see our software version, our build date, our hardware version, onbif version, and MAC address. Under our date and time section, we can set the time zone, the time, and the daylight savings time. In the SD card option, we can see SD cards that are connected to the camera. In camera config, we can control brightness, contrast, our white balance, white dynamic range, we can denoise. We also have our IR options, such as sensitivity, uh, exposure type. And here we have our video stream option. We can change the resolution. Our first stream is the mainstream. Our second stream is the substream, and our third stream is just the third stream. We can control the frame rate, the bit rate of the cameras from here. Under OSD config, we can enable disable timestamps as well as names. We can also set up custom on screen display content. Enable video mask allows us to draw sections to black out video that we do not want to record. This section will put a black overlay over the video. ROI setting stands for region of interest. We can actually draw areas that will use more bitrate than the rest of the picture and we can also set a level. This allows us to increase the bitrate within a drawn area, giving us a better picture. Here we have our lens control. We can zoom in and out of the picture and we can also change the focus mode from manual to automatic. We can manually focus using the plus and minus arrows and we can use the one key focus. Here's our PTZ config. We can change the protocol. This only matters if we're using the RS-485 wire to a PTZ. And here we have our control for the PTZ settings. Under motion detection area, we can change the sensitivity. We can draw in clear areas from the selection. Motion detection trigger allows us to enable the alarm, set the alarm holding time, as well as trigger functions that the camera will do when motion is triggered, such as snapshots, emails, and FTP servers. Motion detection schedule allows us to add and delete days that we want the camera to be on motion detection. The alarm input trigger is very similar to the motion one. We can change the sensor type from normally open to normally closed. We can change the holding time as well as trigger snapshot, email, and FTP. We also have our alarm input schedule. Here we have our alarm out. We can change the holding time. Under alarm server, we can point the IP camera to an alarm server on an NVMS 5000 client. This was the IP camera OSD config for system, video, PTZ, and alarm. We will cover network and advanced in the next video. Thank you for watching.